hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we will be going through uh, distance formula distance formula which is used to find the length of length of a line segment joining two points joining two points right so now let's see how it works so for example let's say i have this uh, line segment if a b is a line segment let's say we have this coordinate axis so we have a point a over here the coordinates are x1 y1 and then we have a point b over here having coordinate x2 y2 right and we have a line joining this one so that means length of the line segment joining two points so these are the two points here this is the distance that we are going to find out right so now for this one the formula that we have is distance formula that is uh, used for this one is that is length of a b this is also denoted by a b length like this so square root of x2 minus x1 squared x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 and whole square so this formula is called distance formula and it is used to find out the distance of a certain line so for example i can take very simple example over here find the distance between find the distance between two points 1 1 and let's say it is 2 8 right so now this one is x1 this coordinate is x1 this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 so to find out the distance of these two points we can name these points let's say this is p and this is q right so pq distance from of p to q like this one a b here we have square root x2 minus x1 this is x2 that is 2 minus 1 squared plus then y2 minus y1 8 minus 1 squared 2 minus 1 is 1 squared plus 8 minus 1 is 7 then squared on top so square root goes along with it uh, so we have 1 square is 1 7 square is 49 so square root 49 so you can write down here square root 59 units so unit may be any if you are given otherwise we can just write down units if it's meter centimeter something is given according to the question we can put that unit right so let me just repeat that distance formula used to find out a distance from a certain point a to point b or any other point like uh, from one point to another point so we will just take difference of the x coordinates and square difference of the y coordinates and square and the square root of the whole thing okay so that's it so let's do some more examples like I have a question here find the distance from the origin to point 3 5 so origin what is origin origin is 0 0 from where it starts right then other point is 3 negative 5 so let's say this point is here let's say I'm giving this na name a and this is a uh, o uh, 3 and negative 5 so we are looking for this distance from origin to this one and so again we will use the distance formula I will write it down so that you can revise x2 minus x1 whole squared y2 minus y1 whole squared x2 this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 right so x2 minus x1 3 minus 0 square y2 is negative 5 minus 0 and the square root of whole thing so 3 minus 0 is 3 squared 25 9 plus 25 square root 34 
right okay so another question that we do have here is which of the points a or b is closer to point c so now we have a point c uh, we can just draw a rough diagram like this is point c having coordinates negative 3 and 2 uh, somewhere we have point b which is 5 3 and another one we have let's say a 5 and 6 right now we don't know which one is closer to this so we will find out the distance from c to b and c to a then we will see which one is greater then we can see uh, look into that so we can just draw a rough diagram you must draw rough diagram so that you can understand uh, the exact you know the look uh, this the format of the question so now here we have this cb i can just join this line so let's first find out the distance ac so the distance ac uh, by the distance formula distance formula again if i rewrite x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared right so ac now we will use this formula to find out distance ac so whatever point you can take x1 and x2 so if i take this minus this difference of the x coordinates f5 minus then this x coordinate is negative 3 so we will put negative 3 and the whole thing goes into bracket and the square then y2 y2 is 6 minus 2 and then the square so now we have this one here so square root remains as it is so now you see this minus and minus will become plus so this is 5 plus 3 squared then this is 6 minus 2 now you see we can proceed 5 plus 3 is 8 8 squared then plus 6 minus 2 is 4 4 squared now you have this 64 plus 16 so this is 6 plus 4 10 7 8 square root 80 so square root 80 units now we can find out it in the decimal or you can just leave it like that so let me find it in the decimal square root 80 is square root 80 is 8.94 units right so whatever unit meter centimeter so now we got this 8.94 now we will look for bc so let's see the bc distance using same formula uh, distance of b from c is 5 you see this one is 5 minus minus 3 again 5 minus minus 3 and the square then we have plus y coordinates which is 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 squared so this is 5 plus 3 square and 3 minus 2 is 1 squared and we have 5 plus 3 8 8 squared is 64 plus 1 which is 65 square root so obviously this one is uh, smaller so square root of 65 this is equal to 8.06 so 8.06 units now this one is 8.06 units and this one is 8.94 so this one is closer so we will write down this distance is smaller than this one it actually went opposite to the diagram so this is 8.6 this is closer so point b is closer to c so we will write therefore point b is closer to point c so that's it so that's how you will uh, use this uh, distance formula to find out different type of questions i hope you guys understood everything see you guys in the next video